Pittsburgh is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Set, put. Ah. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. He scrambled, dives, and he's down. So he keeps it and picks up maybe a yard on the play. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. It's the sophomore that's got it. He's tackled at the 40. That is just sound fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. Caught and he's hit immediately. That's a team of two. Third and There's a strike complete. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. And this play is number eight on the drive. That makes it second and ten. Ready! 180! Wide! Complete, he's got room. Brought down around the 20-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Ready! And they make the stop right around the two-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. From the five-yard line, second down. Rose, complete touchdown. got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he adds the extra point. It was a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the Cubs. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. 34, eyes on He's got his man across the middle. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Four down, four down. Mike Knight. Hey, hey, hey. You got it. Hey, go. He's out. 225. 225. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Fires it out. They'll knock him down for a loss. the 42-yard line. It's second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it sails right on him. No good. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. North Carolina is up seven. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle made the 42-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Here we go. Right, number eight. That one's incomplete. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later, they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled around the 18-yard line. Pick up. 
This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. North Carolina's lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Carolina up seven points. Pressure coming. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. So he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Nice run up the middle. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Taken down at the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second So it's second down and about two yards to go. That's a great tackle at the 43. Side doesn't get much. Good tackle. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. Makes it to the 47. That's a game on the run. That makes it second and two. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. For a loss behind the line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Let's go! Red 68! Slings it. 
And he is drilled at the 43-yard line. The Panthers will use their first time out of the half. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does, and now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit, and they're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep, and you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense, and then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at the drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. The Tar Heels taking their first time out of the half. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. North Carolina has done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. And he's level at the 48-yard line. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. It's complete. And they finally knock him out at the 25-yard line. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Mike 9, Mike 9. Check, check. Check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. He gets rid of this one. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. He might want it all here and does. Incomplete. Almost picked off. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 14-3, North Carolina. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. The Tar Heels are going to call their second timeout. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here we go. and it's almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. We're halfway through and it's been a good one. The Tar Heels in front by 11. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse-type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. In, in defensive backs, the ones that we like the best are the ones that can play on an island and play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm. And you see quarterbacks all the time in seven-on-sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. And if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. hit immediately. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Four down, four down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Game 15 on the way. First down. three-yard line. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 30. Call it a game of 13 yards. First down. And he's taken down at about the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 27 yard line. Second down. Hey, we gotta, we gotta get to that. 
And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he can't get away from the pressure. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. North Carolina holds an eight-point advantage. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he hits the PAT. A short two-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 21-6. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Picked up around three yards on the draw play. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. made at the 32. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's tackled the 37-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. Call the game five yards. That'll make it third and five. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike nine, Mike nine. To go. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. He goes out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 31-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Tackle around the 48-yard line. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. the catch and look out and down he goes at the 27 yard line it's not over yet folks we head to the fourth quarter North Carolina is up by 15 all right we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter there not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that this is the ninth play of this drive and he tackles him hard at the 12 yard line Some room. Knocked out of bounds at the four. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Touchdown, North Carolina. Tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 79 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Number 16 brings him down at the 44-yard line. First down. Oh. 
And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he just gets rid of it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Complete. He's got room. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 35. That's a great tackle at the 27. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Three down, three down. Mike Nine! Mike Nine! Go. 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 He's tackled at the 21 yard line. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Three down, three down. Just under three to go in regulation. Motion, motion! And he's tackled right away. Here's the eighth play of the series. That makes it first and goal. Three down, three down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Bang Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to come up with a sack. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the 11 yard line, it's second down. And he's immediately tackled. And this is the 10th play of the drive. bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too close. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Just over a minute left. They don't get it. An 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two point conversion. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And down he goes at the 42. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He has some room. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. From the 27-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Three, 
inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. Touchdown, UNC. Splits the uprights with the extra point. North Carolina lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defense coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 43-yard line, first down, under a minute left in the game. Boss is out with a tailback on the screen, and he is drilled at midfield. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Let's go! Six and four! Let's go! He's knocked out of bounds right around the 36 yard line. That's good for the end of the yards. It's first and 10. First Ball on the 36. Mike Nine. Mike Nine. Six, 629. Six, 629. Check, check. Alert, Predator. Predator. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 26. Gain 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Mike Nye, Mike Nye. Hey, you got to This one's in the books, and our final score, North Carolina, 35, Pittsburgh, 12. And the Panthers. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.